Hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am your host, Vortex, from MobileMusicPro.com, your home for mobile music production. And if you are new to the channel, what we do here is release weekly videos teaching people how to produce music on their iOS device. And in today's video, we're going to be showing you how to use and automate the stock plugin inside of Cubasis 3 called SpinFX, right after this. And remember folks, if you do enjoy this content, please remember to like, subscribe, comment down below, and share out the show. Now Cubasis 3 does already come with a bunch of great stock plugins, but they also have some other ones from additional companies like Waves that you can purchase as an in-app purchase inside of their shop. But today I did just want to cover one specific plugin in particular, and that's because it is really, really useful. And in fact, it's one of those plugins that just has that one specific use case scenario, but does it really, really well. Essentially, SpinFX is a multi-effects plugin designed to provide those real-time DJ-like effects to your track. And some of those effects include things like filters, repeats, tape stops, and more. And in fact, the layout of this app and really the effects are pretty common at this point as there are a number of DJ-like effect apps out there. You see, DJ effect apps like these really excel at creating extra movement and extra tension and extra style to your tracks that would otherwise potentially be a little bit too hard and tedious to create manually, and even possibly taking you out of your creative flow. All right, now with that intro aside, let's hop right into Cubasis and start taking a look at this SpinFX plugin. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do in this video is walk you through the SpinFX app, and then after that, we'll do a quick demo showing you how to use it. We'll be using a project that we created during our live streams, which we do every single Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, now let's go ahead and get started. All right, now the first thing to do is add our SpinFX app to the project. So to do that, we're going to pull up our mixer, and we're actually going to add this on our master track. So we'll go all the way to the right-hand side of the project and open up the effects inside of our master track, and then tap on the section where it says tap to add effect. And what we'll do is we'll go to the internal effects, and we'll scroll down here to where it says Spin FX. We'll tap on that, and that will bring up our plugin. Now, there aren't any actual factory presets in here except for the default preset. And that's because most of the functionality is meant to be entered in here real time by actually touching the plugin. Well, let's make this a little bit bigger now so you guys can see it. Most of the app is actually taken up by this grid area here, which is where you actually use your mouse or your finger to apply the effects. Now, if we look to the left hand side of the app here, we can see the time grid. And this is going to be how fast your effects will actually be applied to your project. Now, if we turn our attention now to the far right hand side of the app, we can see that this is where we choose our filters. So we have our standard filters here, our low pass filter, band pass filter, and high pass filter. And then below that in this bottom half of the app here, this is where you will find all of your tape stop and repeat settings. You'll see the tape stop settings here over here in red, and you'll see your repeat settings in green and blue. And finally, you'll see your gating settings here in yellow. And again, these are pretty common DJ style effects that you will find in a bunch of DJ hardware. So of course, this app is not exactly reinventing the wheel, but it is providing a very specific use case. So now what I want to do is play you this quick little 31 bar loop that we created during our Wednesday live stream. And then after that, we're going to spice it up with a bunch of different effects using the SpinFX app. So for now, let's just close this right up and we'll play this track. Put the headphones on and let's hit play.
All right, there we go. Now this little project again was created during our live stream there in about an hour, hour and a half. So there's not exactly a whole lot of polish on here, but this project will do absolutely perfect for this demo. And as you can see, it's not too complex here. We have our drum tracks, which is the kick, snare, and hats. All of these drums are coming from our free lo-fi sample pack available at mobilemusicpro.com. And then we have our chords, arpeggio, and guitar, all of which are coming from the Synthmaster 2 app. And then below that, we just have a couple more sounds that are coming from our lo-fi sample pack. And finally, we just have a couple of ambient effects here, like the vinyl crackle and a burning fire. Now, what I want to do with the Spin FX app is add a bit more movement and a bit more character to this track. So let's again go ahead and pull up our Spin FX app by going to the mixer. And remember, again, we place this app on our master track. So we'll go to the far right hand side, tap on the E for effects, and we'll tap on our Spin FX plugin. And again, let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see. In fact, let's close the list browser here since there aren't any presets for this app anyway. Now the first thing that I want to do is apply a filter sweep. And I want to first apply this at the end of the song and have it carry through again to the beginning of the loop. Now normally in a real song, you would just add the filter and carry it on to the next section. But since this is more of a loop, I want it to carry on into the beginning again. So let's set our cursor to the towards the end of the song here with just maybe the last eight bars remaining. And what I'm going to do is make sure my low pass filter is selected. And then we'll hit play and use this grid area to apply our effect. Now I do want to make sure that this effect that I'm creating happens every single time the song plays. So to do that, we will record some automation. So let's make sure that our read and write buttons are checked. And now any effects that we apply here will be recorded inside of the automation tab. So let's hit play now and then apply our effect. All right, perfect. Now let's play that back and see what that sounds like. Alright, great. So that definitely played back our automation perfectly. Now, if you'd like to see or modify that automation, you can find the automation button right next to the read write buttons and just tap on that button to bring up the automation. Or you could close that and make sure you're on the right track and then tap on the automation tab on the far left hand side in the inspector. You can see we added both frequency and resonance automations there with that particular effect. And we can open each one of those up by tapping on the E. And you can find these same two automations that you recorded under the recorded tab in the far left hand side of your automation editor. So you can see here we have our first one, which is our frequency, and then our second one, which is our resonance. And we can make this window a little bit bigger so you can see that. Again, this was our resonance, and this was our frequency. Now, both of these were recorded using that same XY pad, so I didn't have to actually enter these in separately. The app handled that for us. All right, now let's close that out. Now, hopefully what you heard there was some additional movement in the track. Because remember, it is all about keeping your listener interested from the beginning to the end. All right, now that we've applied our filter sweep, let's see if we can add some additional effects in here. So let's bring back up our mixer and then bring back up our spin effects app inside of our master track. Make this a little bit bigger again. And now what I want to do is apply a tape stop effect and a repeat effect. So let's see if we can get that recorded in. We'll go to the beginning of the song, make sure our read and write is ticked, and then we'll hit play.
All right, there we go. As you can see, we recorded a bunch of different automations in there, and they're all now stacked up in our automation tab. And of course, inside of our automation editor, which we can tap with the button right next to the read and write buttons. We can now see all of the different automations that we've applied, including our different filter sweeps and our repeats. So let's close out of this now, and let's see if we can play this back with all of our automation. And let's hit play. So certainly a very, very cool and easy to use app to apply those really cool DJ style effects. All right, and now it's time again for our final thoughts. And if you are still rocking with us, then we just can't thank you enough for being here. And we especially can't thank those enough that are here every single Wednesday and Friday to watch our live streams and live premieres. Now, hopefully this video did inspire you to maybe start taking a closer look at some of these DJ-like effect apps and start adding some movement and tension into your tracks. And remember that this app, Spin Effects, can really be used across a wide variety of genres, things like electronic music and hip hop, because the effects on there are pretty standard, pretty commonplace. Things like filter sweeps, you'll find used in a number of different genres. And Speaking of hip hop, we just finished up our recent lo-fi hip hop sample pack contest on Wednesday, August 4th. We revealed the six honorable mentions as well as the top four prize winners and played all of the contest entries right there during our live stream. And we'd like to send out a big shout out and thanks to the number one prize winner, Henry, aka Freaky Daddy, for taking first place in this contest. And as we said previously, all the contest submissions for this contest were complete fire as usual. It ended up being a pretty big challenge for Blind and I to judge all these, but we definitely got through them and really enjoyed the process and we are just super proud and taken back by all the talent that was submitted during this contest. Now, if you didn't win this contest, don't worry, we will be having plenty more contests and giveaways in the future, so make sure you stay tuned to the channel. And of course, the best way to stay up to date with everything that we're doing over here at Mobile Music Pro, from contests to giveaways, sample packs, and more, is to sign up for our completely free mailing list at mobilemusicpro.com. And so, until next time, everybody, keep talking music, and we'll see you later. Hey everybody, Vortex here, and if you're not aware yet, we now have over 100 fully edited mobile music tutorial videos. And we make music every single Wednesday live on our channel right inside of Cubasis on our iPad. Plus, we also have a bunch of free sample packs, guides, and more at our website at mobilemusicpro.com free. And so if you are into that sort of thing, producing music on your iPhone or iPad, then definitely make sure to subscribe and check out the rest of the videos on the channel that we know you'll love.